don't make some channel give you. Okay, you want to now you don't you don't because today now you don't even know what's happened. You gotta go you don't fuck up, bro. No, I'm not my own beg. Well, it's about 12 minutes past 2 a.m. this morning, and this is when the Thursday or supposed that pool party, Thursday night pool party just ended did it last up to two hours no because big brother who has always had the thing of telling the housemates that they are tardy is like the number one champion of not keeping to time and lateness like honestly i'm disappointed year in year out and somehow the organizers of this prestigious show that we enjoy don't know how to keep to time they don't know how to manage the time of both themselves and the housemates and the viewers alike like, not everybody is in Nigeria. I see some people, you know, um, watching from Kenya, from Uganda. Surely their time is not the same with us. Some people watching from those time zones are telling me that, okay, as you know, it's 2 a.m. here. That's when the party is even starting. Like, it's not fair. Big Brother should do better. Because how? They wasted the whole day yesterday. Yes, I mean, they, they did the checkers costed um, tax, which should have been rounded up in the morning. And it lasted from in the morning till about in the evening. And then he also had the guts to set the DSTV challenge. And that one ended almost 12 a.m or so 12 a.m 1 a.m like why why big brother this is not fair not fair on your viewers not fair on the housemates and now 6 a.m this morning they'll ring that very annoying alarm waking this housemate up expecting them to just start working out at that time it's not fair and then they have their wager and other tags that probably they have packed for the day Honestly, it's not given at all. Anyways, a big congratulations to Checkers and then by the way, Twins. It looks like they are on a winning streak. First, it was a Checkers custard challenge. They won it. And they also won the DSTV challenge. Yes, they are actually um, Team DSTV. Team Showmas came second. And Team Go TV came third. Yes, guys. But all in all, these guys, they put in their best. They tried. I actually did enjoy, you know, the DSTV, Go TV, and Showmas performance. It was quite interesting i also want to give them a shout out like seeing them in their various traditional attires was actually very beautiful to watch i mean nigeria is truly blessed yes now aside from that the pool party started like i told you guys already quite late in fact it was not a night pool party it was an early morning pool party honestly and it did not last up to two hours now of course the energy was low the dj this time was not even helping to be very honest and for those people that are blaming the housemates you know, for this party. Honestly, the one thing I would give this set is they know how to party. And if their energy is low, it's not their fault. These people have been worked like they are worn out. They are human beings. They are not some kind of robotic machines that are being kept and put in battery just for our pleasure. Like it's not, it's totally unfair to put that on them. They still delivered. Honestly, the party was okay it wasn't that bad i mean we've seen very horrible parties in the history of big brother but this one was just okay yes it wasn't as great as the last party that they had last pool party that they had um but it's not terrible the playlist for this party was not giving honestly it was neither here nor there like nah whoever arranged this playlist should go back and do another one give it back to the person that did the first party and was it with big brother not giving them their meat on time like okay there was small chubs and pastries and all of that but the meat that's the chicken that they were to use came a bit later like why don't they do it like they did for the all-stars why don't you give them a pre-cooked chicken stop stressing these people now big brother like it's not fair you give them live chicken that's uncooked and then expect them to start grilling it by 1 a.m habana is totally unfair yes guys but we still had you know some memorable moments at tonight's party yes sean and whiny kissed is their signature thing like every party they always have to kiss and i have to mention the new ships that are forming in the house now we have suj and nelly it looks like it's not an official thing because we did not see nelly you know roaming around uh mayo anymore mayo now is fully occupied with rooty yay finally she can rest uh, hopefully she will rest and then hmm, this ship is a ship that a lot of people have been calling my attention to and i've not really been noticing but it kind of seemed very visible today or last night that is ozzy one of them by the way twins 
and Onyeka, double O or O square like their fans or their shippers will call them. Look, if that ship sails, I am, I will jump on that ship. I'm not going to lie because that ship if it sells, oh, not delusion. I don't want the little low. If it actually sells, I will be the captain of that ship because I love it. Imagine two lawyers and they look aesthetically pleasing. And I think they are kind of like, I don't know how to put it, they gel. So yeah, um, that's a ship we have to look out for. Um, thank God. TJ did not near the pool this time. We already know what happened last time that he almost drowned. Most of the ladies or some of the ladies actually explored the pool. Wani, Chinwe. Okay, talking about Chinwe, she and her man had um, a fallout, which I will do a special video for. Yes, guys. So they had a fallout. And even though they came together for the tax, which is something that I actually applaud them for, because whenever they have issues and they have tax to handle, they, you know, um, put whatever issues they have behind them and just focus on the tax. That's admirable. Anyways, after the tax, of course, you could see that they still had issues, you know, and it reflected on how they interacted with each other at the pool party. They were basically social distancing. For me, the moment um, Zion started dancing around Nelly. I'm like, wahala. And Kayode is a fool. He started, you know, focusing his camera on Chiwe, who was at the pool. Yes, of course, Chiwe, I mean, all of them were looking beautiful. The ladies, all of them. Cassia, oh my goodness. Cassia looked beautiful. I mean, we saw at some point, we actually didn't see Victoria twerking. Who would have thought? Anyways, yeah, these guys, they delivered tonight. The energy was low because obviously they are worn out. But all in all, it was a beautiful party. But do you know what actually spiced up the night? Yes. Um, a fight, almost fight, that happened between Kelly Ray and Mickey. Yes, Kelly Ray was defending his woman, Cassia. So apparently something had happened between Cassia and Mickey, something that pertains cooking. Uh, I think Mickey saw cassia cooking and was like you know she's cooking just for herself not knowing or maybe he knows actually that um cassia was actually cooking or boiling rice because she is on medication because shortly after that big brother called her to the diary room to receive her medication and i remember yesterday or the day before she had been complaining of her tummy pain in her so she had to eat something so um he made that statement and kelly ray was not having it of course cassia had already raised her voice and kelly ray was not having it i know the most annoying thing about this whole thing is the fact that somehow the camera crew always puts the camera elsewhere when a fight is starting now it makes us to wait for other housemates to give an account of it for us to actually know what happened and our account of the whole thing has to be based on hearsay not because we actually watch it like these people should sit up because i do not understand it they promised us that okay well, this year wherever the action is that's where the camera will be so what is happening is week two and that promise they have totally failed us anyways um later on they hashed out the issues you know man you know but really kelly ray was defending his wife and i'm like yes our husband man defend your woman yes and of course you know uh, mickey was still claiming rights and all of that and kelly set him straight it's like guy you're not uh, you know you not act that way you're not be sticky with me how many times have i cooked for you in this house how many times have i you know started cooking and say ask you if you're gonna eat and i put food for you and still you you have the goals to stand there and make that statement like nah don't do that and you know what i know that mickey is actually guilty because the guy has been showing me signs of a person that will say something behind someone's back and come to your face and laugh with you and that was what you know part of the things that was pissing kelly off yeah and when they were even reconciling i'm like this guy do not push your luck too far because he was saying stuff about oh you know Senna babe referring to kelly's wife i'm like ah this guy limits the way you you know talk about or dismiss his wife because ah now your wife be that so if he blow you for a mouth and you go to dance go 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 and isn't it i'll be here to laugh at you because that guy has been i don't know has been giving me the ache maybe because i've been biased you know against him because of the way he's been chewing because big brother has this annoying thing he does that whenever mickey is chewing he will just increase the volume of his mic and that sound pisses me off so yeah um yeah 
that's basically what happened. Yes, guys. On that note, I'd like to say a very big thank you to you all for being part of my channel. If you have not yet subscribed, kindly click on the subscription button. Click on the notification bell to let you know whenever I post any new video. Until I come your way again, I remain your darling girl, AZ Mae Williams. <laughs>